Yokies. It's Nadine. Um, welcome to today's practice. So I have a 45 minute practice lined up for you today. This one is called Bloom and um, I just thought it could be really nice to celebrate Earth Day. Uh, so happy Earth Day to all of you Earthlings out there. <laughs> um, blooming is, is interesting um, because for the flower, it's pretty inevitable, right? Blooming is just a part of the process. Um, it is something that it does without necessarily having to or needing to do it. It, it just does, right? It does for the sake of existing, it blooms. And in this practice, I my hope is that we can incorporate a little bit of that that being of that blooming in our own bodies and remembering that wherever you are on your path, right, even if it seems a little weird and uncertain and strange, you're going to bloom. And it might not be in the next month, it might not be in the next hour, or it might, you know, but just allowing yourself to being open to receiving the reality that you will bloom. And <laughs> with that, sharing the story of the lotus flower, which is huge in yogic tradition. Um, the lotus is super sacred and special. And surprisingly, it is a type of flower that needs darkness and muck to grow. It can't grow without it. And so in order for the lotus blossom to bloom, it has to have had a great deal um, amount of um, darkness and muck. So <laughs> if you find that any part of your life resonates with that, where you just feel sort of stuck and things feel kind of dark, you're just a lotus. <laughs> and we will bloom, right? It's part of our destiny, part of our manifestation is just to eventually at some point open up. And like anything, we'll go through cycles where we'll open and we'll close and uh, be rebirthed again in a sense. And so just being a little patient with yourself and understanding on your life journey, um, wherever you are, um, that you'll bloom and you'll bloom again and again and again and again. So you ready? I am. Let's get to blooming. Okay. So you don't need anything for this practice unless you want to use a strap. And I don't have one, well, I, I do, but I don't have one on me. So I'm gonna do some modifications. Um, if you decide you wanna use a strap, go ahead and grab it really quick, or you can use something like a hand towel or anything just to basically shorten the distance between your hands when we're binding. All right, yogis. We're gonna start in a comfortable seated position. And, when you find yourself good and ready, just bringing your hands to the tops of your thighs, palms facing down. Just close your eyes. And just taking a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Just begin to breathe in and out of your nose, welcoming this breath in your body and welcoming your body to your practice. Try to relax your jaw and relax your shoulders. And planting this seed of intention in your heart that just says, you know, I am open to blooming. And I'm open to my path. I 
I'm open to starting and ending and starting all over again. And I know that all of these cycles are a part of this really, really incredible experience. And that my destiny is always to bloom. Let's take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, just start to softly blink your eyes open. And take your left hand to your right thigh and just turn and twist. Maybe pet your dog if you've got one nearby. <laughs> and then turn and twist opposite side. This is Monty, by the way. He's one of three. <laughs> turn and twist. Turn and twist. Nice. Keep moving like this. Just turn and twist. Turn and twist. Nice. Use that breath. Exhaling on the twist. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Nice. Now, as you come back to the right side, so left hand on top of the right thigh, just really dig into it. Turn to the right. Sit up nice and tall. And then as you release that stretch, just bring your left hand down towards the left and then reach your right arm up and over. You can bring your forearm down. Go for it. Nice little spiral through the chest. And then inhale, lift up. Right hand to your left thigh and just finish that twist, really digging into your sitting bones, lifting up through your spine. Nice release. Right hand down to the right. Left arm reaches up and over. And then maybe bringing that forearm down. Then lift yourself up, big inhale, and then exhale, meet me on all fours. So we're going to come into tabletop position. And from here, just bringing your heart forward, inhale for cow pose. Nice straight arms, and then exhale, round it out into cat. Inhale, pull your heart forward, cow. Exhale, round it out. Again, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale. Just neutralize your spine. Take your left foot back behind you. Straight leg toes down. Step your left foot over to the right and just give yourself a nice calf stretch. So pushing through the hands, pushing back into the left heel. Perfect. Release. Step your left foot forward. Nice. Um, into lizard lunge. Slide the right leg back. Go ahead and come up onto your fingertips, please. And just pull your chest forward. Sink down through your hips. So you want to start to tap into the actual physical experience of blooming, right? Opening up, broadening through the shoulders. Nice. Exhale. Take your hips back. Lift your left toes up. Arms nice and straight. And then maybe walk your hands backwards a bit. Bend down into the elbows. Just feeling a sensation of dropping into the body. Nice. Left foot comes forward, please. Hands follow. Come back on, up onto your fingertips, but now tuck the back right toes, lift the legs. So sprinters, lunge, pull the chest forward. Relax the jaw. Nice, full breath. 
Perfect. Now let's stand straight to the front leg. Lift your left toes up from the ground. Adjust the placement of your arms if you need to. And then just bend through the elbows a bit. Send your right heel back. And it more than likely won't touch the ground. That's okay. Nice left foot back to the earth. Point to your hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Shift your weight forward. Inhale to plank. And then exhale, lower down, Chaturanga to your belly. Relax through the toes. Reach your arms back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Left thumb over right to start. Pull back through the arms. And then lift the legs. Nice. Deep inhale. And then exhale. Release. Plant your hands. Make your way back. Tabletop position. Perfect. And then send your right foot back behind you, toes down, chest forward. When you're ready, step that right foot over to the left. Nice. Push back into your right heel. And then swing your right foot forward towards the front of the mat. Lizard lunge. Send your left leg back a little bit just to add some depth. Come up into your fingertips. Pull your chest forward. Blossom. Big bloom. Deep breath in. Exhale, hips back, toes up to the sky. Move your hands just to help you support this stretch. And then bang down into the elbows. We're not worried about forearms touching the ground. Although if you find that you can go there, um, that's fine. But it's not necessary. Just enough to let you drop in. And then right foot forward. Come back up onto your fingertips. Tuck through the back left toes, lift the leg. Sprinter's lunge. Pull the chest forward, lift your chin. And then exhale, hips back. Extend through both legs. Reach your right toes up to the sky. Maybe walk your hands backwards. Bend the elbows a little. And then right foot forward back to the earth. Great job, Yogi. Step back, downward facing dog. And then inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, chuck the gun. Come up onto your belly. Interlace the fingers behind you again. This time, right thumb over left. Locus pose. Lifting up. Really trying to push the heart forward. And then exhale, release. Gather yourself up slowly. Hands and knees for just a moment. And together we'll meet in downward facing dog. Now in your dog, put a deep bend into your right knee. Just focus on stretching that left heel back. Take the uh, big toe and the second toe of the right foot, wrap them around the Ach left Achilles and just pull down at a little weight. Keep pushing through your hands, straightening out your arms. And then switch. Left knee bends. Just first, really digging into that right heel. And then left big toe and second toe just come around the Achilles and pull down. Nice. You notice your ribs start to splay out. Try to squeeze your ribs towards the belly. Belly up towards the sky. And then release. Nice job. Look forward at the space between your hands and just travel up nice and slow to start. Come up to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift. So hands to the shin bones for this one. Um, and we'll be playing with this shape throughout the practice. So even if you can go a little bit lower, maybe just hanging out here and seeing if it does anything different for you. And then exhale, folding back into the legs. Nice. Inhale again, halfway lift. Now this time, take your arms out wide like a bird. And then come on up, mountain pose. Big inhale. And then exhale, draw the arms down through center. Nice, relax. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Big breath. And then exhale, forward fold into your legs. Now this fold, maybe taking hands behind the calves, just encircling yourself a little bit, pulling your body together. 
looking up towards the belly. And then inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, back forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Arms reach out. Come on up, mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale, find your center. And release. Inhale again, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold into the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. So you're using those shin bones. Now exhale on the fold, step your left foot back, warrior one. Strong lunge in the front leg. Deep breath. Perfect. Release the hands, interlace the fingers behind your back, left thumb over right. We're going to pull down, opening up the chest. Lean forward, plant yourself into the earth. Think both shoulders inside of the right thigh. And if you notice your right took us kind of pokes out to the right, I know mine does. Um, try to slide it into center. And then you really, really want to go somewhere. You really want to get buried. <laughs> Look up to your belly. Just imagining yourself as a seed. Deep breath. Please exhale, release your hands down, plank pose. Let's add some heat, vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Perfect, lift your left leg up to the sky, deep breath. Bend your knee and drive the left heel towards your right glute. Try to pump up the hamstring just a bit, really squeeze. And then left foot forward, warrior one. These arms come up. Strong lunge, release the hands, interlace them behind your back, right thumb over left, pull down. Exhale, humble warrior, and plant. Take the gaze all the way up to the belly, slide your left tuck us <laughs> in towards midline. And then try to squeeze yourself together, if that makes sense. And then hands come down, we'll step back again, plank pose. Nice, tuck it in. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. Slow breath out. Travel forward, top of the mat. If you're ready to hop, start to hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Arms go out to a T. Slight bend in the knees, come on up. Mountain pose. Exhale, find your center. And release. Good work. Inhale again, arms come up, full breath. Exhale, forward fold into the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, heart pulls through. Exhale, forward fold. Now you step your right foot back. This time, come into warrior one pose. Arms reach up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Open up the chest, breathe in. Exhale, the humble warrior, and plank. And just following all those same things, left hip to center. Squeeze that left inner thigh towards your left outer shoulder. And then hands down, step back, plank pose. Pulling the heart forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Right leg lifts up on the in-breath. Knee bends, hip opens, drag that right heel towards your left glute. Pump up the hamstring just a bit, and then right foot forward. Warrior one. Nice, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, strong lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Make sure you're switching the thumbs if you can remember. I know it's not always easy. Breath in, and then just into that seed cycle, <laughs> arms reaching up, right hip in, release the hands, exhale, step back, plank, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, and exhale, into downward facing. Take a full breath in, slow breath out, great job. Look forward at where your hands are. Travel up top of the mat when you're ready. Nice halfway lift. 
hands to the shin bones, nice exhale, forward fold, maybe wrap in, look within, inhale to halfway lift again, and arms go out, come on up, mountain pose, nice, driving down through center, and let it go, perfect, pull your left foot in please, into tree pose, so you know, different options of course, I'm going to pull my left foot into my inner thigh, hands to the heart, or maybe up to the sky, whichever you choose. Just grounding down into the earth, opening up through your chest and your heart. Excellent. Start to pull your left knee into center, and just imagine you were doing a quick little hike up. Send your left leg back, warrior three. Nicely done. Now take it one step further. Reach your fingers to the ground or block. Lift your left leg up to the sky. I'm going to take right hand to my calf and just really, really stretch that left leg up towards the sky. Perfect. Left foot back behind you. Find high lunge, please. Take your arms up. Exhale, strong, strong front leg. And if you're like me, sometimes my lower back tends to dip quite a bit in this one. I really want to focus on driving my left hip forward and then try to keep that placement as I re-extend my left leg back. Not easy, right? But what is? Full breath. And then warrior two as you exit. Nice plant down. Deep breath. Reverse your triangle. Nice. Straighten that front leg. Now we're going to move into extended side angle. You can take any variation that you like. If you um, want to bring that forearm to the thigh, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to reach left arm up, bloom out through the chest, and then maybe extend that left arm just out across the ear, firming down into my left pinky toe. Okay, stay breathing. And then exhale, left hand down. We're going to step this left foot forward. Big folds, top of the mat, which is And then squeezing yourself in, turning the gaze up into the belly. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let it go, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Spread those arms out and bloom. Come on up. Nice deep breath. Exhale, drag it down through center and release the arms. Perfect. Right foot into Virgasana, tree pose. And accepting that a big part of the tree is imperfection, right? It's not always stable, not always perfect. And that's all right. Perfect gets kind of boring. <laughs> and then we're going to hike right knee in, big squeeze, inhale, exhale, take it back, warrior three. And then we're adding that little bit of heat, that bit of trust, just reaching our fingers down to the ground. Left hand wraps behind that calf muscle, just sending right leg up to the sky. Reach through your toes, maybe even look up to your right leg. Nice, exhale into Anjaniyasana, high lunge. Arms coming up, ball of the back foot. Exhale, sitting in, just pulling that right hip forward. Re-straightening through the back leg. Relax your shoulders. Perfect. Nicely done. Exhale, warrior two. Sitting. Deep breath. Just planted, just rooted. And reverse your triangle. Big release. Just lift your heart up. Then coming into extended side angle. Any variation you choose. Right arm up to the sky. Breathe in. And on that exhale, just reach that right arm in front of the mat. You've got it. One more inhale. And then exhale, both hands down. Oh, step back to plank. Woo, deep breath. Vinyasa. Letting that up dog really bloom out. <laughs> And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Super slow breath out. 
Good job, yogis. Look forward at the space between your hands. Let's travel up. Toss it back. Halfway lift to the shin bones. Lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Arms reach out. Rise up. Mountain pose. Exhale. Just coming into center. Letting the arms soften by your sides. Perfect. Same sequence. We go a little bit deeper with this tree pose. So now right foot can come in traditional tree or any variation of the tree or bringing right foot into like a half lotus shape. Now with that half lotus shape, you can start to fold forward. You can start to create a bind from arm, <laughs> right hand towards those left toes as you begin, or right toes, I apologize, as you begin to fold. Now, if that's not available, just bring both hands down towards the earth. And it's okay to bend this base knee. And it's okay just to be standing, right? You don't have to come into this really intense shape. Perfect. Now, tough part is coming up and entangling, arriving. And then just taking that right knee back into your chest. Inhale. Exhale to warrior three. Left leg's feeling it, right? So stay committed to your breath. Fingertips down, standing split. You've got it. Left hand to the calf. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe. And then high lunge. Foot down. Arms deep up. Exhale, sit in. Nice open up into warrior two. You sit low. Plant yourself. Breathe and bloom. Reverse triangle. Big, big stretch. As you move into this extended side angle, you can come into the same shape that you did prior. Or you can start to work on a half bind or maybe a full bind, right, if it's available. Either way, just letting the chest really become the focus, the chest opening up, leaning the head back. One more deep breath. Exhale to entangle. Remember, first round, we just step up into a fold, big fold. Let it go. Look within. Listen to your breath. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale back, fold, let it go. Inhale, lengthen. Arms spread out, come on up, mountain pose. Perfect. Drop down through center and soften. Great job, yogis. Okay, left side tree pose. So pulling that left foot in. Again, if you're working on that half lotus, just be mindful that it's serving you, right? And it might not. Today might not be the day. If you're working on that bind, left arm starts to wrap, reaching for the big toe as we fold forward. Right fingertips to the ground. And this does not have to happen. You can take any degree of this shape. And then slight bend in the knee. I'm going to try to untangle my body slowly. Breathing. Left knee into chest. Inhale. And then exhale. Reaching back, warrior three. It's pretty brief. Fingertips down to the earth, standing split. Right hand to the calf, allow the hip to open. So we're definitely not closing the hips in the shape. And then stepping back, strong legs, come on up, high lunge. Exhale. Opening up, warrior two. Good job, yogis. Firm down. One more deep breath. Reverse your triangle as you exhale. Now moving into that extended side angle. Just taking your time. Binds are tricky. Binds are uncomfortable. I like to think it is very much like an unfurling. Right, this coiling. Think of a fern, the way a fern is so coiled 
and tight. And then it just starts to open up. Deep breath and release. This time, step back, downward facing dog, please. Inhale, shift your weight forward to plank. Exhale, the answer. Great work, yogis. Bring yourself up and back. A little downward facing dog. Looking up in towards the belly. Breath. Constant and steady. We'll shift our weight back into plank. And then exhale, lower all the way down to your stomachs. Or kerplunk. <laughs> Which is more my speed right about now. Okay, we're going to take bow pose. If you're not feeling bow, just bend your knees. Maybe work on some reverse windshield wipers. Maybe even a half bow right coming up onto your hands. But if you're ready, take the hands back. Reaching to the feet. I'm going to push feet into hands. Lift up. Opening up through the chest. And exhale. Lift your bodies up. And taking the knees nice and wide. Just give yourself a moment in child's pose. Just feeling into Mother Earth. Just feeling into this big family that you're a part of, right? This huge cycle of, of life. As we inhale, we receive this gift of life. Breathing in the gift that the trees give, the plants give. And as we exhale, we give out a gift a gift that the plants receive and the trees receive. Then inhale, go ahead and come on up to all fours. And let's come back into tabletop and we'll take tabletop extension. So left foot reaching back, right arm reaching forward. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, elbow to knee for one. Extend it out. Exhale in two. Extend it out. Now this one just hold. Maybe half tiger. Right hand down. Left knee bends and lifts. Or right hand to the left foot. Push hand into foot but also lift up. Nice. Try to square the chest forward. Really nicely done. Release. Step your left foot right in between your hands. Start to set your body up for warrior two, but we're not going to go into warrior two, just setting the legs up similar, similarly. And bring the left hand to your left shin bone, right arm up to the sky. And then just sweep that right arm over. Maybe slight bend into your left elbow just to increase the side body stretch. And then turning the hips down, turning the chest down, prep yourself here for like a runner's lunge. So my kneecap is lifted, although if you need to drop it, please drop it. Bring your left shoulder behind your left calf, left hand to the back of the calf, the lower part of the calf, more like the ankle. And I'm gonna bring my right hand to that ankle and just push down. I'm gonna pull the chest forward. Keep breathing. And then bringing the fingers out wide, step your right foot forward, reach your left arm behind you, creating a bind around this left leg. So bird of paradise. And you can lift up, maybe pause halfway. You can come up all the way. Maybe start that slow process of extending the left leg out. Opening up, 
bringing back down, releasing the hands, and stepping wide back into downward facing dog. Knees back to the earth. Right leg back, left arm forward. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Now this one, as you open up, start to prop for either that full tiger's pose, half tiger's pose, whichever you prefer. Pull the heart forward. And then right foot in between the hands. Hey, set yourself up like warrior two, but we're coming into that triangle using the shin bone. Okay, we don't want to be too low. Left arm sweeping us up. As you exhale, reaching left arm over, bending into that right elbow, and just creating this hemisphere in the space. You can bring your right hand lower, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then shift everything to square the mat. Take right shoulder, wrap it behind the right calf. Take left hand to that right ankle. So both hands are to the ankle, chest is pulling forward, hips are kind of low. Try to lift your gaze. Nice job, yogis. One more deep breath. Awesome. Bring your hands down. Whew. Take them kind of wide. Get ready to step forward. Wrap your arms around that right leg. Or use your towel, use your strap if you're kind of off. And just start to pick yourself up. Use the core. Use the strength of your right leg. Blossom out through the chest. Extend the right leg out. Push down <laughs> into your left foot. Breathe, nice, open up, and then slowly release, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, plank, exhale, inhale, little vinyasa to finish our practice. Great work, take your gaze up into you, into your body. And then we'll come on down to our knees. Come on down to sit. Awesome, awesome work. Okay, yogis, bring your legs out in front of you. We'll work on some half lotus to full lotus. And you'll bring left uh, shin bone into cradle the baby. Sitting up nice and tall. If this is too much, just use your arms like a like a pitchfork <laughs> to pull those uh, or pull the shin bone in. Root down through your right leg. Again, just sitting up nice and tall. Try to square off your hips. Perfect. So just slowly lower your right foot into your, or I'm sorry, your left foot into your right uh, hip crease. I have to think about that for a little bit and. Flex back into your right foot. So you're essentially into this half lotus. If this is way too much for your knee, which I totally get it, I have a pretty bad knee injury myself, you can bring the foot into the inner thigh. Okay, so not all is lost. There's always something for everyone. And then exhale, just leaning forward into the stretch. And then inhale, lift your body up, release, and bring the right shin bone in. Sitting foot and knee into the crooks of the elbows, just cradling your shin bone like a baby. We want to make sure that we sit up as tall as we can. If you find you're slouching a little bit, I would definitely um, modify the posture. You'd switch it up so you're able to sit up tall. 
root down through that left leg. Perfect. Bring your right foot this time <laughs> into your left hip flexor. So it's pretty high. That's right where that crease meets uh, the thigh and the, the like, pelvic area. And then slowly start to lean forward as you wrap or flex those right toes around your thigh. And I don't think I've ever met a more humbling posture than Lotus. Come on up. Release your right leg and just let your legs breathe. Wiggle your toes, roll out your ankles. And then come on down to your back. So just middle of the mat. <laughs> Pull your knees into your chest and just rock a bit side to side. Feet down, dropping the knees over to the right, switching left arm over. And then inhale to center. Exhale, legs over to the left. There's two ways we can finish practice today together, yogis. You can unroll coming into Shavasana. Or you can continue to roll towards your left. Bring your body up into a seated position. And depending on just your range and how you feel, you can take butterfly pose here and just Find a nice quiet meditation and butterfly or you can come into full lotus or half lotus. I always recommend with a posture like this to use your dominant leg. There's no need in this posture to have to do both sides. Um, you can pick the side that feels most comfortable to you and just find that position. And bringing your hands just to the tops of your thighs, sitting up tall. Heart open and eyes closed. We'll just sit together in a collective meditation, holding space for ourselves in this journey where we enter the many cycles of seedling, planting, and blossoming. Honoring the gift exchange between ourselves and the planet that we live in. honoring this big, big family that we're a part of, this system that we are intrinsic to. Bringing hands into heart center, bowing the head. Thank you so much for being here today, yogis, and sharing your energy with me, your time, and your space with me. It is always an honor. May you always know that the light in me, and the love in me, recognizes and sees the light and the love in each and every one of you. Namaste, yogis.